God supplied all my needs, okay? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Oloba. If this is your first time tuning in, go ahead and subscribe down below and join the family. So today's video is going to be my about my supernatural move to Nashville. God told me to move to Nashville, Tennessee, you guys. I don't have no money. I did not have the credit. I did not have the rental history. I actually have a, uh, an eviction. I used to have an eviction on my credit. So all these things that could deter anybody and I still moved. I took that leap of faith and I moved and I've been in Nashville, Tennessee for a year now. This is my apartment. Like God has supplied all my needs and blessed me. So I'm going to tell you my testimony so I can encourage you if you feel like what the Lord is telling you to move. Because it's gonna seem crazy, especially in the midst of your issues. It's not going to make sense. But I promise you when you do it, you're gonna be like God. You knew what you were doing. So back in Oklahoma City, I was a small business owner. I am a professional makeup artist. And I've also been doing social media, um, which is what I really, really love. But I've been doing makeup for many, many years. And I felt like that season of my life was ending. I didn't want to do it anymore. And I felt like God was almost like taking the passion that I had for makeup away. Because you guys, I thought for sure that I was going to be invested into my business, that I was going to expand, that I was going to offer more services. But when God has something else in store, something even bigger than you imagine, you just have to be obedient. I also worked a nine to five. I, I do a lot of things. <laughs> I also worked a nine to five. I worked with a mortgage company. And in this season of my life, I really just felt like it was time for me to move. Just something in my spirit was telling me it was time for me to move. Then all of a sudden, all the files at my work were coming from Tennessee, Nashville, Tennessee, Tennessee, Tennessee. And I'm like, huh? This might just be a coincidence. Then all of a sudden, my clientele at my um, my, my business started coming in from um, Nashville, Tennessee as well. I actually had a bride that I did over the weekend. I drove over to her home to do her makeup, and she was just telling me how she moved from Nashville, how Nashville is so beautiful, and this and that. And then my second client, you know, the following week said the same thing. So I'm just like, God, I feel like you're calling me from, to Nashville, but I don't know. So it's the same thing, the documentation at my work just kept on coming. And then I was like, God, I feel like this is a season for me to move. And I feel like you're calling me to Nashville, but I don't know. But also in this time, the apartment that I was leasing at the time, the lease was ending there as well. The lease at my shop was also ending. So I had to make a decision if I was going to extend my lease or if I was going to be leaving. But everything in my spirit was telling me that I should not extend anything and that I will be leaving. And that's what I did. So I did it without any confirmation. I remember I put my two weeks notice at my job, not even knowing where I'm moving to, but I just did it. And my boss was just like, Sarah, are you sure? I'm like, yep, I'm moving. I told everybody I was moving to Nashville, Tennessee, just by faith. And I just, I didn't even know what I was doing. I, I literally was just moving by faith. Once the lease at my apartment complex was ending, I moved back home to my parents' house temporarily while I figure out what God was doing. Whenever I moved back home, my family was also having their own issues that I was praying for them. And guys, it was the most chaotic season of my life. I have to fast like that's how bad things had gotten I, I just dedicated my, myself to go to God and I did a three-day water fast and just asking for confirmation God if I'm moving to Nashville God if you're telling me to move to Nashville I need a job I need an apartment like I, I need a little bit of stability before I just take the sleep of faith and move so there was this job opportunity I was applying to jobs and there was this specific job that reached out to me that told me that they would love to interview me this and that so that gave me and the job was actually located in nashville tennessee so that was my confirmation that okay maybe i'm moving to nashville tennessee so i'm fasting to the lord i'm asking god to give me confirmation for the three-day water fast and i'm like god if you're telling me to move to nashville i want to see a license plate that says tennessee so i'm driving to work one day and i noticed a license plate that said tennessee and i'm like Nah, this just might be a coincidence. I don't know. On my fast, I was listening to a sermon by T.D. Jakes. And T.D. Jakes is one of my favorite pastors. And it was an old sermon. And the sermon location just 
for whatever reason, I, I looked at the location where the sermon was just to find out that that sermon was taking place in Tennessee. So that was like my confirmation, confirmation that I knew that the Lord was speaking to me because he knows I love you since he jakes. All right, so I get confirmation that I'm for sure moving to Nashville. I have this possible job offer that I don't even know if I'm gonna get or not, but I still don't have a place to live. So I'm looking at apartment complexes in Nashville, things that will fit in my budget, but I still don't even know how I'm gonna get this apartment approval because I don't have the credit, I don't have the money. I decided to close my business and I had to pay back all the clientele that booked me in advance. So I'm paying them back, I'm broke, I don't have any money. I had like barely a hundred dollars once I paid everybody back. I'm just stressed out. My family's stressed out. There's just so much chaos going on in my life. Oh my God, it was the, the most wilderness, wilderness season. I, I promise you that. So then there's this apartment complex that I was interested, which is the one that I'm currently at now. They're telling me I have to apply in person. I'm having trouble reaching, getting contact in them. There's no online application. I'm just like, what, what is this? This is the perfect apartment complex for me and it fits my budget perfectly. They were not responding to me. So I did the three day fast for confirmation on where I was going to be moving to. And you guys, the leasing agent responded to my email at like 11.53 p.m. at night, like almost midnight during my water fast. If that's not God, <laughs> if that's not God working for me and the leasing agent, whenever I emailed her, I told her, hey, I'm looking for an apartment complex. This is beautiful. I don't have the requirements that I should. I don't have, you know, my credit. I have an eviction due to a divorce. Like I was just very, very transparent with this woman. And she responded and she said, don't worry, I will help you. So that was my confirmation that God really was behind this and he has my back. So not knowing for sure if I'm gonna actually be approved to this apartment complex, but that was enough confirmation that I needed to move to Nashville. The day finally arrives for me to take that leap of faith and move to Nashville because the next following day I have a job interview at the at the new location in, in Nashville. So I'm leaving. I didn't even tell my family, I didn't tell my mom, I didn't tell my dad, I didn't tell anybody because I didn't want anyone to to deter me on my decision. I knew what God was telling me and I don't need my parents to tell me anything. That was my mic. I'm not listening to family's concerns. I just did what God was telling me to do. So the day that I decided to leave, I packed my car up. I had all my clothes, the, the you know, the bedding, the stuff that I could fit in the back seat of my car is all I took with me. And it was an 11 hour drive to Nashville. I did take a stop at Memphis and stayed with a friend and she, you know, she took care of me. Thank you so much. Um, she took care of me, um, and then the next following day, I continued my drive to Nashville, Tennessee. Um, and literally, I was fasting. I had gospel music on. Like, oh my God, this is the craziest thing that I've ever done in my life. This makes absolutely no sense. And I have no money, and I don't have the credit requirement. But you're telling me to leave, and I'm doing it anyways by faith. So, first thing I do when I arrive to Nashville, Tennessee, was was my job interview. So I went straight to the job interview and I got the job. And I'm like, thank you, Jesus. This is a salary job. This is exactly what I've been praying for. This was in my list of things. I didn't even tell you guys, one second. During my three day water fast, I downloaded the Day of Fasting and Prayer by Pastor Rick Warren. And it's a nice little um, book. All my prayers, I asked God for a good salary job at this amount and above for a dream apartment approval, regardless of my credit history, a month free and a low deposit opportunities um, to help my family out in their current situation that they were in this in the situation that we're go they were going through at the time, and for my travel to Nashville to be peaceful, for me to have transfer trans transportation, um, and every possible provision answered. And you guys. The thing that I even left out, <laughs> and before I even decided to take that leap of faith and move to Nashville, Tennessee, I got into a car accident, and the accident was my fault. So I just feel like whenever you accept the call from the Lord, don't be surprised if warfare starts to try, tries to attack you. So literally, I'm taking the leap of faith. I'm taking the sleep of faith. I accepted the call. I decided I'm going to move. I get into this car wreck that was completely my fault. 
I already don't have the money because I had to pay back all my clientele because I didn't, I didn't want no lawsuits, I didn't want no problems, I paid everybody back. So thank God my father was able to get the parts that I needed to fix the car. My sister also aided and chipped in to help me fix the car and I was able to take my own car and drive to Nashville, which was a blessing. So, okay. So I make it to the job. Um, <laughs> all my stuff is packed in the back seat of the car and I'm at the interview, you know, they're asking, you know, asking me questions. I'm a pretty good interviewer, I would say. Then they asked me, you know, how soon can I start? I'm like, I can start immediately. I just came from Nashville. I just moved from Oklahoma City today. You know, I'm super excited and all of that. So I got the job. So I was super grateful because now at least I know I have a stable income coming in. So after I left my job interview, I went straight to the apartment complex and I'm like, wow, this is it. This is exactly what I envisioned. And you guys, I was literally obsessed with this apartment complex. They had like a 3D virtual tour. So I'm like envisioning this model of this apartment. I'm praying for it. I'm fasting for it. I'm like, God, this is it. This is it. So I meet up with the leasing agent that responded to my email. She's such a wonderful, wonderful woman. Thank God for her. And, you know, I tell her my situation in person, I'm like, hey, like, I don't know what my chances are because I do have an eviction on my on my credit due to my divorce and things got, you know, a little crazy. And I don't know how I'm going to get approved. I also don't have the credit requirement if that's necessary. You know, I also didn't have the money, but I didn't tell her that I was going to figure that out later. So she was one of my destiny helpers. She literally walked me through the application and helped me answer the questions to where I could still get approved because of my addiction. She, she, the way that she worded it, she knows the system, so she helped me. And I'm like, oh my God, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know if I got approved or not at this time, but the fact that she was willing to help me was just an answered prayer. Um, I had to pay like a $25 application fee, which I took out of the $100 that I had. And I thought, I was going to move in immediately. I thought, you know, once I, once they would run my background, do all of that, and I would, it would be an instant approval and I would move in. But what she told me was, um, no, um, sometimes our, you know, our background checks and the system that they use could take up to a week. So right now your application is still pending. And she told me that. And at that moment, my heart sunk because where am I going to live? I don't have, I just, I just gave her $25. I only have $75 to my name. I need to find somewhere to live. I don't have any family or friends here in Nashville. What am I going to do? I don't know anybody here. And I immediately got sad and discouraged because I'm like, God, you told me to move here. What's going on? So I thanked her for helping me. I didn't tell her what I, you know, that I didn't have any place to stay. I just, figured I'd, I'd figure it out. So I'm leaving the leasing office defeated and there's a random woman standing by the door and she approached me and said, did you get approved? And I said, I don't know, my application is still pending. And I told her I didn't have anywhere to move, like to stay because you know I moved her by faith. And she said, there's something about you there's a light. I don't normally do this, but you're welcome to stay with me and my daughter. I have an extra one bedroom. There's a bathroom. You're more than welcome to stay with me. You guys, this complete stranger welcomed me into her home. This sounds absolutely, imagine having a complete stranger in your home. This woman, she saw God in me and was comfortable enough for me to stay with her for a few days until I got the decision of my apartment and you know i'm staying with her this woman was kind to me she 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 gave me you know food she was just so you know kind and she, and she wasn't perfect she had her own imperfections you know but god used her god is able to use anybody and she wasn't even christian like she knew of god she's heard of jesus but she was very very lukewarm and i took that you know I, I i took that opportunity to tell her about god and tell her what god has been doing in my life and tell her how she's helping helping me and you know she was helping me but i was helping her with her own issues i was encouraging her and uplifting her and giving her advice so it's like god knew at that season that we both needed each other 
and it was so beautiful how that worked out so i'm getting nervous because i don't i don't know if i'm going to get approved to my apartment complex i decided to do another fast and the oh, the, the first day of my water fast that i decided to 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 you know really pray for my apartment make sure i get approved and even the unit that i'm in this model they told me that this wasn't available they told me it wasn't available and i would have to get a smaller unit you guys tell me why i went to the leasing office the next day after just fasting for one day she told me that i got approved and they had an a2 model available the very same model that she said was not available so i'm in shock i'm excited this was like after five days of me staying with this kind woman that invited me into her home and you know i'm excited i'm, I'm signing the lease because of the um job offer that i got i was able to get and i used that loan to pay for my deposit but i still didn't have my rent so I told this woman, I was like, I don't even have rent money. Like I, I just have enough for my deposit and that's it. And she was like, don't worry about it. I'll give you a month free. So if that doesn't tell you that God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly more than we could ever even imagine his provision, I'm thinking maybe I've lost it. Maybe I'm crazy taking the leap of faith and moving from everything that I know that's familiar and God supplying all my needs from the finances, from the job, from, from the favor, from, from the, the woman, from, from my leasing agent, everything worked out together for my good. And even the very same floor pan that I'm currently in, this beautiful apartment that I get so many compliments on, they told me it wasn't a fav it wasn't available and God still gave it to me. So I'm signing the papers. I literally, you guys, when she told me I was approved and I had one month free, I literally was like, thank you, Jesus, in front of everybody. There was a couple sitting beside me and they saw how excited I was, and I was just thanking Jesus. I, I, I don't care. Like, all of this was God. God supplied all my needs, okay? I don't care all of this was god so they have to know who jesus was thank you jesus so much for everything i was so excited you guys i i opened the door to my apartment complex and i started crying all i could do was praise god i just you know i prayed i covered my house in the blood of jesus my, i didn't have any furniture couldn't afford no furniture i wasn't worried about that because i got a car and I have a beautiful apartment, my first apartment by myself, 100% by myself. And it's all because of God, even with all the odds were against me, not having, not having the money, not having the credit, not having the credit, the credit, the, the credit history, and God still supplied my needs. God still gave me favor amongst people. And you guys, God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly whatever you are trusting God for, whatever God is telling you, it may not even make sense in the midst of it, but he is, a, he, he is not a God to lie. He will protect you. He will provide for you. I really thought when she told me it was going to take seven days for the approval process, I was already like, okay, I guess I'm going to have to sleep in my car. I guess this is, I'm going to be homeless. This, I, this is it. But God said, no, Sarah, I, I've assigned somebody. Your destiny helper is going to take care of you for a few days. Not to even mention that, but my furniture, my, my home is fully furnished now. And you guys, most of the stuff that I have here is free. My job gifted me the furniture. Like everything, I might have to do another video on that because my home looks very luxe. And it's like, this is God. This is literally not me. And it's just like, whatever you are trusting God for, believe in him fast. If you don't fast, fast because every single time I fast, things have been happening. Literally, things have been happening. Prayers have been answered. But there's still a couple of things that I'm still trusting and believing God for. And every single time I, I doubt, I'm like, Sarah, look at this apartment. The very same apartment that you were on Google, just looking at the 3D virtual tour and just praying. I walk through the halls of my apartment and I'm in awe of God's favor for God's provision so 
I had an infamous video a year later. <laughs> if you follow me on TikTok, you, if you follow me on TikTok, y'all already know, but I needed to put a full video out for people on YouTube. That no matter what your circumstance, I do not care if you do not have the money. If your account says negative three hundred dollars, girl, if you have bad credit, you have no. I don't care what it is. God can still make a way for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed the story time, and I hope that it encourages anyone that's going through a rough patch right now. My wilderness season, girl, it was it was. I'll do a video on my wilderness season because the wilderness season was very very rough, but God pulled through, and now I'm finally living in His blessings. And this is only the start. Love you guys like the love of Christ, and I'll see you guys next time.